I just completely licked the black paint off of my lip. Didn't even realize it. This really did take me a long time. It was really challenging. Um, definitely something I've never done before. Um, 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 um. That's probably all you're gonna hear in the video. Um, uh, um, uh. another day of the 31 days of Halloween it'll probably end up being like 34 days of Halloween just an FYI but I know how to count just making sure you know that before we get into the details of this video make sure you thumbs it up because this took me forever and don't forget to subscribe because this really did take me forever. Today's video is in collaboration with Celeste Bowen. This is a comic book character collaboration. I decided to go a much different route than the original or classic comic book character that you've seen. I've done one before. I will link that in the video down below so that you could see it. But I was like, I need to do something different, something challenging, something I've never done before. So here we are. This video is completely and utterly and totally, completely, utterly inspired by Claire Dim. I think I said her name right. Claire Dim. Claire Dim, guys. Claire Dim. So I was searching up pictures of comic book characters on Google. This one popped up and I really, really liked it. And usually, guys, this is how my brain works. When I want to try something new that's very, very out of my comfort zone like this, I usually try to mimic someone else and then in the second time I try it I will do it my own way. This one I mimicked Claire Dim's makeup. Hers came out bomb, amazing, literally like looks so sick in the picture. Um, so I'm gonna link her down below and probably put her picture in the video. Um, so thank you Claire. I promise you that this video it's very challenging but very very minimal product is used Basically, you just need black and white paint, some thick and some thin brushes, and you good to go, girl. But without further ado, guys, let's jump into this video because I am tired AF. Whew. Hey, guys. So for today's video, I am going to start out by just kind of chatting with you, and then I'm probably going to move into a voiceover. But I am taking this idea and I'm um, inspired by Claire Dim. I'm going to link her video below. I wanted to try this out. Basically, it's like a comic book character, but you're taking like a shadow um, compared to like it's just white and black. Um, and I really, really, really love the way that her look came out. And I wanted to try this because this is going to be something that's going to be challenging for me to do. Um, and I might be here for like three hours. So, <laughs> without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. So, the reason why all my lights are off is because what I'm doing is I'm using the shadow on this side of my body and my face compared to the light side right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to map out this side of my body and face to, um, to the shadow. I need my glasses because I can't see. Okay. Now that we can see, <laughs> this might be a problem when I go to my face, but... Wow, this is, uh, this is gonna be a little difficult. I'm gonna kind of, I have her picture right here, which I will um, show you guys, because I found it on Google. Um, so I'll show you her picture while I'm doing this. I'm kind of going off her picture and the shadow that I have here, because I guess it's, 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 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not really seeing, like, the shadow that I want to, per se. So guys, for the sake of time, I'm going to be speeding up a lot of this video, just because of how long it took me. So bear with me, and I hope you still understand it, but if you have questions, just ask below. You know what, I just realized, guys, that the shadow will be on this side of my face, I think. No? No, am I right? I'm so confused. This is like science stuff and I don't understand it. 
So at about this point, I'm literally just looking back and forth at the picture to kind of draw these lines and this shadow on my face. Something that's really, really smart to do, which I don't really like to do it first when I try something out for the first time. I like to go the difficult route when I try something out for the first time. But something that would probably make this easier, this look much easier and much more clean would be outlining the shadow in white first, filling it in on the white side and then going in with the black. All right, guys, so once this side is basically where I want it to be, I'm going to move on to the next side, and I'm just going to draw in a small contour. And I'm using a bunch of different brushes for this. Um, I'm mainly going back and forth from two brushes, but... You'll probably see me switch over to some different ones in a second because um, we need to do the white and I'm too lazy to clean it off. <laughs> After I've painted and shaped my brows with the black paint and put on the contour, I'm going to go ahead and start creating like the cut crease or the eye socket to kind of make it look like I have a crease in my eye. So I'm just taking black to do so and you want to make this a little bit higher than your actual crease. On the black side you want to connect it to the eyebrow and the nose but on the other side that we're going to paint white in just a little bit, you are just going to connect it with the winged eyeliner and then we're going to create some cartoonish looking lashes. So just a little tip, I did add some black shadow from NYX, this is the NYX Hot Black Shadow, into my hairline so that the black would fade much better. Alright guys, we're moving on to the white paint. So basically with all this white paint, we're literally just painting all the skin that you see. So, here we go. Inside lane, missing exits, I'm glued to the pavement. So that took way too long, but I had to switch over from my water-based paint to um, cream-based paint, and it's a mess. So this is all blotchy and everything like that, so I'm just going to go back in and make sure the black is what stands out, because that's the biggest part of this look. So I'm just going to go back in with the black paint, and I'm going to re-outline everything um, so that it's not all messed up. Something also that Claire did was she added some white lines on the black side of the lips and some black lines on the white side of the lips. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that first. Alright, I'm just going to go re-outline everything, so here we go. Oh, my own. Alright guys, so like I said, all I'm doing is just re-outlining everything. If you were to have done the white first, you could probably skip this step. I believe that you wouldn't need to do it um, unless you wanted to. And I know that the paint came out really blotchy and I'm sorry for that. I was using Snaz Rue and the Make a Forever Cream Paint mixed together and it was just like all over the place, but it looked good from far away. Here's the final look and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video.
Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I mean that from the bottom of my black and white heart. I really enjoyed making this video for you. As always, I'm a little tired, but that's okay. Um, doesn't that look funny? <laughs> Make sure to check out all the videos that I'm going to link below, including my original comic book character makeup inspired by Made You Look by Lex. Also, Celeste's video, who is in collaboration with this video, and also Claire Dim's video, which this look is inspired by. I hope that you guys enjoy, and I hope that you enjoy that I am being I'm challenging myself, and I'm doing my best to bring you some really cool shit. I will see you guys. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did you subscribe yet? Did you thumbs up this video yet? You watched till the end, you might as well. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow, mañana. Does that mean tomorrow or morning? I don't know. I just always hear people say it. I think it means morning. I'm Italian. What do you want me to say? So when you come up close, you could see that it is not perfect and it looks perfect from all the way back here. And I'm just like half painted black. Well, I have a black shirt on. Look, look my belly. What is this person doing outside? Oh, it's falling. Okay. All right. All right, kids, I'm done. Time to go take this off and do another one. Number two, we're going to bang them out today. <laughs> this looks so weird. It also makes my teeth look yellow as hell. Ew.